No, it's inevitable. It's also, I think, a, an amazing point because I can't tell you, even as a venture investor, the number of companies I've seen that had early success. And, you know, uh, one of the things you learn, this goes back to, you know, a, a point that we talked about earlier around venture investing and it's uh, a full contact sport. You know, you never know what's going to happen. And one of the things I've seen now multiple, multiple, multiple times is companies who early in their life have spiked really hard and are enormously successful, but can't thread that needle and improve the product and be able to keep up and maintain the leadership position position in the marketplace. Um, and a lot of it, I think, you know, honestly traces back to what you said, which is just my sense of it is they're not pushing themselves enough. They don't maintain that energy and that spirit from day one, and they just are fat and happy. Is that your take? Do you have a different point of view around why that happens so often? I think that's part of it. I also think that, man, just business stuff is hard. It's hard to get a business off the ground. It's hard to get a business that's, you know, sustainable. Then it's hard to get a business that's like, profitable and growing and the bigger you get the more competitive everything gets and it's just like at every dimension or at every stage stuff is just really hard i think that that's the other piece it's like not and not everyone is just sitting fat and happy i just think it's man like you it, it is that's hard. a challenge to yeah. fight off competition every single day to stay ahead of the trends every single day to you know try and focus on profitability and I think especially, especially in our world, like the brand branded consumer products world, the last seven years have also been especially hard because I think that there's been a slew of companies that have been extremely well-funded that are horrendous businesses, like just structurally broken businesses that are driving up advertising costs or taking shelf space or like doing stuff that makes it hard for you as another competitor that wants to run a good business to compete. Like if you had a, you know, if you're four sigmatic or like one of these businesses that um, that like Laird Superfood competes with, for example, I don't know if you know them. They're a public company, so you can talk, you can reference this. As funny they, as that is, they are a public company. <laughs> I, I know, I know. And, and and they did last year. I think they did something like they like did 18, 20 million in revenue, something like that, and lost thirty two million. in, you know, that's like it came public as a spec, which explains a lot. But yes, it's true. Yeah, yeah, no, completely. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, it was not, not a big process. Um, but I mean, it's like, how do you compete with that as a brand that wants to build a good business when another brand is lighting $32 million on fire to make $20 million in revenue? That's very hard to stay alive in an environment where your competitors are able to do stuff like that. 